So, the train companies do not understand the meaning of the phrase peak times and public breastfeeding. Hey guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to the diary. So today I'm going to talk about my train journey this morning into Devon. So I went to Devon today for a training session with some young women and girls with learning disabilities and autism about healthy relationships. The group was amazing, it was really good. Um, and yeah, the session went well, it was really good. But the train journey up there. Two coach train, right? This is, from what I can tell, the off-peak time that railway companies are talking about. However, two coach train is packed. I'm standing because there are next to no seats. I mean, there might be a few seats, but I don't really like sitting next to people. I don't necessarily know, especially not if I'm on the outside. I absolutely hate sitting on the outside for my window seats. So the train's packed and it's off peak times. Yeah, you really, really don't know off peak at all or peak. But as I got on, I noticed this woman sitting in one of the seats with a baby. Upon closer inspection, she was breastfeeding. Now, obviously, no, she'd completely covered up. All you could see was a little crumple of the t-shirt and the baby. That was it. Nothing, nothing else. Baby was covering the rest of the skin, down, down around her side. And of course, baby's mouth was covering the nipple and the rest of the boob. Which, to me, is perfect. No low cut top. Nothing like that, just her breastfeeding. Now, I've seen many women, well I see, I say many, I've seen a few women breastfeeding in public, especially in Devon. Last time I went to Devon with my mother, we saw a woman in one of the local big shopping malls, breastfeeding in one of the cafe bits, and more props to women who do sit out in the open in public to breastfeed because I like to say things like would you eat your food in the bathroom? No. I know I wouldn't. So why make a baby do it? Why make a baby eat in the bathroom just because you don't want to see it? I absolutely hate it when guys in particular will go up to a breastfeeding mother and say, can you do that somewhere else, please? That's really disgusting, it's making me feel sick. Just that they're thinking, dude, I reckon you were breastfed as a baby. Why is that sick? Why is it disgusting? It's the most natural thing in the world, and because she was so covered up, I think it's why she didn't necessarily get many comments about it, because you wouldn't be able to tell what was going on. She had the baby held in the general cradle position rather than the full face into the chest or into the armpit sort of position that you would see most mothers in breastfeeding. So yeah, it, it was really good to see that and while I think mothers shouldn't have to fully cover up, I think that the way she covered it was just it was really good. I think that, like I was saying, that was why she didn't necessarily get many comments because it didn't look at first like she was breastfeeding. It just looked like she was cradling her child. But it was also the fact that she didn't decide to go and do it in the bathroom, in the toilet, on the train. It was the fact that she stayed in her seat in the carriage and did it. That's what, to me, is the best bit of it. The fact that she basically, probably without necessarily meaning to, but basically took a little stand against stigma and society 
when it comes to breastfeeding in pu public. There is videos on YouTube, mothers breastfeeding in public, there was a protest on it, there was a social experiment on breastfeeding in public, and I think the social experiment really explains it best. Having a woman with a low cut top, breasts are on show for sexual nature, every self-centered guy in the world that was a part of that social experiment said that the one with the low cut top was more appealing and okay than the woman breastfeeding. A few people decided to sit in front of the woman breastfeeding so that she was shielded a bit more, so that it was a bit more discreet sort of thing. I'm 50-50 on that. I mean, yes, it's good that people are helping each other out and all that sort of thing, but I feel if a woman wanted to be discreet, she would have done what the woman on the, on the train I was on this morning was doing. And that's the fact of keeping the shirt in such a position that you can't see anything at all. It looks like she's fully dressed, she's just cradling her child. But... I know what a breastfeeding baby looks like, and shut up, I thought. <laughs> I know what a breastfeeding baby looks like, and I could tell straight off from the second I saw those movements, that's what was going on. I just wanted to say, if you are a mother of a newborn baby and you are breastfeeding, you've made a very good choice in breastfeeding, as my mother would say, it makes the poop less stinky. A lot less stinky than if you use formula. Just remember that you are doing a very natural thing and just remember that you don't eat your food in the toilet so why should your baby do so? Be discreet, be you about it, but don't feel like you have to go into a bathroom to breastfeed your child. Stay where you are in a nice quiet corner and people will leave you alone. Have fun, stay living, and look after your kids, guys. Look after your kids. Another training session tomorrow, same place as I was today. My question for you guys today is, what do you think on breastfeeding public? I don't want to see any rude comments about it. If you don't agree with it, fine. It's fine but I don't want to see you hatefully bashing it because you don't like it. Constructively say why you don't like it. <laughs> All right, so that's it for me today. I will see you tomorrow. See ya. Set your place on fire, let's get higher. Come down, set your place on fire, let's get higher.